you'd think that spending four days at the SHOT Show would give us a chance to see pretty much everything that's there, but there are so many thousands of different uh, exhibitors there that there's no way. So when we go through, uh, we kind of look for the big things, the guns and so on and so forth, that we think will have the most impact and be of the most interest to the most people. Uh, but we see lots of things and say, you know, I got to get back and look at that later, but we rarely get a chance to. Well, this is one of those items that I did see and thought, well, that looks kind of interesting. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. And I didn't. And I've seen it advertised in magazines and stuff, but I didn't really understand why it was what it was. Well, what these are, are, try, let me turn it this way, triangular patches. And these are from... Uh, the folks at Boresmith and Brushsmith. Now we've reviewed their brushes before, the little small crevice brushes, and they're outstanding. Well, I didn't know why this was, but I'll explain it to you. Their special bore brushes, which they have, and in this case, I'll use the one for the uh, uh, for a 12 gauge. Um, you will notice. Let me turn it a little bit like that. You can see that this part up in front is a smaller diameter than the than the large part here. And it's that way with all of their brushes all the way down to the 17 caliber. Now, the reason for that is when you put this over the tip of the brush like that, they call these jag brushes. And the patch goes over, the part that the patch goes over here is the smaller part which allows it to enter the bore freely. And then once it gets in there and goes through and wets it and everything, then the brush does your cleaning. Um, I thought it was a terrific idea. I mean, I have always, and I'm sure most of you have too, um, done some cleaning where you slop the uh, patch on, slop some solvent on the patch, and then ran it down the bore over the brush to get some more cleaning out of it. But it's usually pretty hard to get the thing started in a barrel. Well, these work really, really easy. Um, I'm going to show you in just a minute. But what we have here is that we've got patches from them for uh, 17 to 20 caliber. Uh, 22 to 270, uh, 270 to 35, uh, 35 to 45, and the Mongo size here, which is 12 or 20 gauge, okay? Um, they, besides the uh, tapered brushes, and I'll, I'll show you one here. Um, you can, yeah, I think you can see that. This is a 22 caliber, and you can see how that's tapered at the front as well. Um, they make the brushes in all the various sizes that you would expect. And they also make standard uh, uh, brushes, uh, both in phosphor bronze and the uh, uh, fiber in uh, the various calibers as well. One other thing, or two other things that we have here, we have a really neat uh, uh, lubricant from them here called Barrier Lube. And uh, this really sticks on guns. It's a high viscosity and fairly thick uh, lubricant. Uh, and I didn't find that it slung off uh, when you used them on semi-auto guns. So um, didn't give it a long, long, long test. Uh, I have a couple of bottles here, and maybe we'll uh, give them away on our uh, uh, live GCA webcast to people and I'll let them try it around the country, and we'll see what they have to say. And what we have here is a bottle of uh, gun cleanser. This is a uh, bore cleaner. Now this is a water soluble cleaner, so it's non-toxic. It won't make your liver fall out like some of the others. And uh, it does a real good job on carbon fouling and stuff. So uh, said that, having said that, let me try that on a barrel of uh, 1022 that we put a couple of thousand rounds through um, at the at Gunstock and I have not yet cleaned. So let me take the uh, bore cleanser here and we'll oops, put it on the 22 caliber patch and we'll put the patch on here. Uh, the main reason that the patch comes in that triangle shape is that it doesn't bunch up and give you a whole bunch of uh, uh, layers right around the head and around the base here and it also extends way farther down the brush. So. Uh, Let's go here. Now, as you can see, that goes in relatively easily, uh, considering how uh, tough it is getting those in the others. And of course, it also hangs on to the end. So you can see there that just one pass through uh, managed to pick up a whole lot of gunk and crud 
And uh, once we would let that soak, because this is pretty heavily fouled, uh, more of that's going to come out. And I wouldn't have to do it too often, I wouldn't think, to get it out. When I tried this on the other guns, it really worked well. And if I take a quick look down the barrel here, must be here somewhere. That looks pretty clean to me already. Uh, luckily, you know, 22s don't foul that much, so we, I haven't tried it on black powder or anything like that. But again, I have a couple bottles of this, and we'll send that out and let some other folks try it as well. Uh, I did mention that uh, they have uh, fiber brushes as well. These are both uh, the JAG edition of the fiber brushes, and they come in all the various calibers. And then what we have here is a little uh, cleaning kit, if you will. Now, uh, this includes both the appropriate JAG brush for your gun and the, the correct size patch for that as well. Now, at the bottom there, you'll notice a great big list of all the various calibers and gauges that they come in, including my favorite 16 gauge, so life is good. Um, give them a try. I think you'll be happy. Uh, GCA members get a 15% discount. All you have to do is call and uh, they'll take care of that. When you look at the uh, back in the resource guide in the magazine, you'll see their contact information. So from Boresmith and Brushsmith.